All right, team, level up. So we back with another video. We are making a blueberry lemon loaf. As you can see, we got blueberries. We got flour, baking powder, salt, eggs, vegetable oil, vanilla extract, some sugar. And guys, that's pretty much it. You know what to do. Let's level up, baby. So we got these three ingredients, the flour, baking powder, and salt. We're gonna go ahead and mix this. I already sifted the flour really, really good, but you wanna go ahead and give it a good mix. Make sure everything is well incorporated. All right, guys, so after that, we're gonna pour some sugar in a bowl and then we're gonna go ahead and start by zesting one lemon. So guys, at this point, I can tell you right now, I'm not the best zester. <laughs> if you got any tips for me, let me know below. But I got it all zested and now I'm just gonna mix it up with this sugar. As you guys can see right here, just mix it really, really good. All right, guys, after that, we're gonna go in with that oil. Feel free to substitute it for butter as well. If you don't want to use oil, use butter. But just make sure you get it really well mixed. After that, we're gonna go back in with another lemon and we're gonna squeeze that juice in there. We're gonna be using the juice of one full lemon. I showed you a half, but we'll be using one full lemon. All right, next we're gonna go in with roughly one teaspoon, or actually one or two teaspoons of vanilla extract and also get that mixed in there really well, guys, really well. Don't over mix it, but really well. Next, we're gonna be using two eggs. You wanna mix these nice and slow. Do not overbeat. If you see a lot of bubbles, that means you mixed it too long. So mix it nice and slow, slow and easy, guys, just like this. And it's gonna be this creamy pudding type consistency. Next, we're just going in with this flour. I'm doing it in three sections. Um, feel free to add all of the flour and mix it, but I like to add some flour, then mix, add some more flour, then mix again. And just to let you guys know, we were using one and one fourth cups of flour. If you guys want the full ingredients, I'll leave it. I'll leave a list below. Then as you guys can notice, I went ahead and added that milk as well. Feel free to use heavy cream or sour cream in place of that. And I also went in with the rest of this flour, not really the rest, but two thirds of this flour, and I'm gonna mix this in as well. And just to give you guys a tip, if you notice when I added the milk, I added it a little late. <laughs> make sure you do that with the wet ingredients. But guys, that's pretty much it. Not until we add that blueberries. So once you add those blueberries, a tip guys, when you're adding any frozen fruit, add a table of all-purpose flour and mix it that'll help the fruit from sinking at the bottom next guys we're gonna put this in a loaf pan because we're making a blueberry lemon loaf it's gonna go in a loaf pan and we're gonna bake this for roughly an hour mine's baked exactly between 50 to 55 minutes on 350 degrees but it's gonna go in there until a toothpick comes out clean next I got some cream cheese I got one block of cream cheese we're gonna mix up really really good and then we're gonna add in one cup of confection sugar, powdered sugar, and then we're gonna mix this up really, really good as well, guys. And then for our lemon, well, for us, since we're making um, cream cheese lemon, we're gonna be adding a little bit of that lemon juice, guys, and just mix it in here. And then you're gonna get that cream cheese icing that we're looking for. As you guys can see, it's looking just like that perfect consistency. So at this point, guys, you gauge it. If you want it a little bit more creamy, add a little bit more lemon juice or a little bit milk. And guys, this is what this blueberry lemon loaf looks like. You already know this is a 10 out of 10. It came out clean, guys, perfect. Look at that. Just look at it. Now it's time to drizzle this baby. So I got this cream cheese lemon icing and we're just gonna go on top of this. I'm not the best glazer, but I do as best as I can. And if you guys notice, you see a little tiny pieces of that cream cheese. Um, I didn't blend it the greatest, but I actually didn't mind the little pieces of cream cheese and the icing. That was actually pretty interesting to me. And this was a 10 out of 10. Everybody enjoyed it, guys. And then, of course, I had to hit it with a little bit more of that lemon zest, just like you're seeing right here. Guys, I enjoy making this. I want to say this all took roughly an hour and 30 minutes in total. That's including the baking time. But the preparation, maybe 10 minutes if you have everything together. But yeah, guys, I just hit it a little bit 
more with this lemon zest. And man, you know this is gonna be something wonderful, guys. Absolutely wonderful. So guys, I want you to let me know in the comments below. Have you ever made a blueberry lemon loaf? Have you ever made anything like this? Because if you have, please drop a comment and let me know. But you know what to do. If you guys like this type of content, please remember to like, share, subscribe, and as always, we turn common food into world class. Let's level up and please look forward to my next video. Thanks for watching.